Two. Should give me the big okay. whopper, the number one big kahuna. Racial. So probably, probably saying that the 44th president of the United States wasn't born in America as a way to delegitimize his candidacy, his election, and to delegitimize the will of the people, and to instead insist okay. that that American-born president was <laughs> born somewhere else. But so re when we're talking repeating about the, New the York Times, conspiracy theory that Hillary's campaign started. They did. That's yeah, what you they think did the start. most racist there's, thing there's he no, said was? There's no President Hillary Clinton. As much as I wish there was, the only person who actually needs to be held responsible for what he says right now is the President of the United States. And this President, over and over yeah. again, says things that well, I'm certain you wouldn't say, Jesse. There are things that well, I've you. never heard <laughs> Candace say, but she insists well, let on... Me, let me ask you a question, though, because we just had some numbers, and we found out that Trump's approval among Hispanic Americans since, I think, January 1st is up five points. And Trump's approval among African Americans is up eight points since the beginning of the year. After this huge onslaught that this guy is a racist, that this guy hates immigrants, his approval numbers among these groups, blacks and Hispanics, is up. Candace, why do you think that is? Oh, I know why it is. I don't have to think about it uh, because minorities are growing sick of the rhetoric on the left. We're being tired of used as voting mules every four years, being told, oh, my gosh, racism is back. White supremacy is back and our communities are not getting better. This is the first time that we are seeing black Americans and Hispanic Americans get off of their feet. And though the media is trying to use a bunch of rhetoric to distract us and, and pulling apart pieces and sound bites of things that Trump said, trying to create something that he never meant, it's not going to work this time. I have long called called for a Blexit, a black exit from a Democrat party, and I am seeing Latinos wake up, and I am seeing other minority groups like Chinese Americans wake up and Jewish Americans wake up, and we are done with the left. We want policies, not rhetoric. So, Monique, uh, have you ever take. met President Trump? That's an interesting take. No, I haven't, but I'd like to actually respond to what Candace just said, because it's an interesting take. It's just not factual. First okay, of all, we'll where your numbers that, are though. concerned, the numbers for Hispanics and blacks who actually approve of Trump were so low, they really couldn't go any lower. So the fact that they have improved isn't really saying much. Second, we know from actual data, from rebuttal. actual polling, the reasoning behind the increase has nothing whatsoever to do with people being tired of some level leftist rhetoric. Everyone is sick of Trump's rhetoric. It's the fact that the job numbers, the employment numbers continue to increase, something that started under the prior president and thankfully seems to be okay, the one so thing Candace, that Okay, so Candace, I was going to ask Monique up. if she'd ever met President Trump. She's never met him, but she knows no, what's I, in I his heart. No, I did answer that question. You've, Candace, no, you've met President Trump. I don't know anything about what's Trump. in his heart. I you, just know what he I have met him. You've met him does. many times. You're an African-American woman. You've worked with him. You've socialized with him. And you, you obviously have much more experience personally with the president of the United States. If he was a racist, would you be associating yourself with him as a black American? Absolutely not. And I would not have brought 400 people, 400 black Americans, three times to the White House to meet with him. Here's the truth. When, when the president gets in front of a group of black Americans, they are converted to Trump supporters immediately. He is very likable. He's self-deprecating. He's humorous. And he's aware of what the mainstream media is saying about him. And you know what, Monique? I, I, I appreciate this. I appreciate you trying to make him someone he's not. It's just not going to work. I'm having 2016 deja vu all over again. People are pretending it's not happening. Oh, the black Americans are only increasing their support for him because of this or that. No, it's because his policies work, and at the end of the day, having jobs, having food on the table is what is going to matter. I support this president, and Monique, you should too. All right, Monique, we got to run. I'm sorry, Candace has the last word. All I have to do is read and write. All right. Oh, but I just got it.